Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you something very important about your Garmin GPS. Normally when you travel with your Garmin GPS, the unit at the bottom right corner, it gives you arrival time. And that is not accurate because it's subject to so many different variables and it is the most inaccurate prediction. Uh, uh, the, what you really want to put there instead is distance to your destination. Distance to your destination gives you the exact distance uh, that it will get you to that point that you want to go to. Now, the reason why time is inaccurate because there's, it's subject to uh, traffic speeds, uh, like it could change depending on what the traffic speed is. It could change depending on if there is bad weather, if there is uh, an accident in, uh, uh, on the freeway, and if you're driving slow or fast, your vehicle performance, if you have to pull over for gas, all those things will, will, will be ignored and it gives you a complete rough estimate as to when you will arrive. So this is how you change it to uh, something else instead of, um, you know, uh, distance, uh, the time of arrival. You could change it to how many miles or kilometers left to your destinations. So here's how we do it. Uh, so I have already entered a route. First, you have to enter a route. Once you enter a route, when you go to map and see your information as you drive, right here, it will give you arrival time. Let's say it tells me you will arrive at 9.30 p.m. Now I'm, I'm not getting 9.30 p.m. or any time because I don't have satellite reception, but if I did, it would have given me. So in order to change it to distance, uh, distance, distance lift, you press on this, and instead of arrival time, you choose the plus sign which, where distance, uh, destination distance is written. So I press that, and now it tells me distance in miles or kilometers depending what my settings are. Now you can change to many other options other than distance and time you could change it arriving in or arrive in meaning it will tell you that you will arrive in four hours for example if right now it's 5 five thirty, and your arrival time will be at 9 30. this will tell you 9 30 this will tell you you'll arrive in four hours neither one are accurate because they are subject to so many different variables this is the most ac accurate one why is it more, uh, more accurate? Because the road stretch doesn't change. It's a finite. The road doesn't become longer or shorter. Uh, so that's the most accurate one that you can choose. Now, what's via point arrival time? Via point is the points of interest that you add in between your route. For example, if you're going from point A to point uh, C, you can add po uh, point B in the middle to visit a friend or drop off something or look at, the, you know, do sightseeing and what have you. And this will give you that information that we, when will you arrive to your, uh, you know, point of interest. Now, if you scroll down, let me scroll down. You have time to via point, how many minutes or hours to get to your via point. And then you have uh, via uh, point distance. This is also good because it's accurate. It tells you how many miles are you from your point of interest. And this gives you the direction of your travel. So if I choose this one, Right here, it tells me that I'm going southwest. It gives me the direction of my travel. Now, let's go back to the direction. And now, this gives you time of day. If you choose this one, it tells you what time is it right now. And is it 7.22? Let's find out. It is indeed 7.23. Well, and there it is, 7.23. Okay, so let's go back and uh, see what else we have. Uh, we have direction, time of day, we have elevation. Elevation tells you, one second, this thing goes out of focus for no reason. Okay, so the elevation tells you your elevation from sea level. So we choose that and that's where it gives you the elevation. Currently, like I said, it says zero feet because I don't have satellite reception. So basically this doesn't know where I'm at. That's why it's, it's uh, the, even the, the map shows a wrong place because I have no signal. Um, so yeah, that's how you change those settings. I hope this was helpful um, and, uh, you know, gives you more accurate and uh, more predictable arrival time based on your speed and road conditions, weather conditions and all that. All right. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.